Welcome to the Arclight Battery, your power source for all things Warcraft Rumble related. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Baron deck that I play to get into the top 20 players in the world currently. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. You may see that I have Deep Breath in this deck. Don't worry, we're going to talk about options if you don't have it. I just play it because I like the spell and it's pretty good right now in the higher ELOs. Um, however, it's not required and you can push really high without it. So, let's go ahead and get into it. We have Baron here with his Chill of the Grave talent, where he summons Skeletal Mages. This allows you to apply constant pressure to the enemy's base, while also sending skeletons across the middle and controlling that. Um, it's super solid for us. It controls the gold in the middle, like I've already said. It's very good against um, the spell-based decks right now, just because they really work to spend their spells to clear units um, and while you're producing more it just makes their decisions that much harder and it gives you kind of free units to apply a little bit of pressure to the base while they're worrying about your other things then we have dark iron miner he's a two gold cost unbound that mines gold for you uh, i'm using the gold mine talent here because it uh, protects the middle against kobolds against safe pilots against uh, really anything that walks over it i've had enough mines in the middle to where it kills a huntress before it's really solid um, this guy's really good for just claiming the gold in the game. However, he's weak to Quillbore, so if you deploy him, he does have a deploy animation, so your opponent can summon a Quillbore next to him, um, and then they'll just start fighting, and your Dark Iron Miner always loses that fight unless they're not running the Bristleback Talent and you are running Frenzy. Um, he's also weak to Whelps, just because if you're running the Mine Talent, the Mine will pop the eggs, and then the Whelps will kill him. He is... Good against stealth safe pilot for the same reason the mines will pop the stealth once the safe pilot lands and then he generally gets to kill the safe pilot um but not so great against the coming in hot talent next we have meat wagon an awesome three gold unit that i use with the range talent it allows you to contest the middle while not even being there you can place it at your side tower and control the gold mines with this bad boy he's super awesome uh he is weak to unbound units so quillbore safe pilot um, things of that nature. If something gets in melee range of him, he stops using his long-range attack and starts doing this grinding animation in front of him with this, like, wheel. It's not very strong, doesn't do very much, so getting into melee range is his weakness. Safe pilot, very solid. Contest the middle. You can use it to kill trolls unless they're in cairn, then it doesn't kill them. You can use it to, uh, get a dark iron miners... I think I already said Griffins, kills Jaina, kills Murkai. Very good on-demand uh, support for damaging the enemy's base. Just super solid all around. What is it weak to? Mm, other safe pilots. <laughs> uh, it's not really weak to much right now, honestly. It's just not good against some things, like things it doesn't one-shot. But generally, you're not using it to one-shot those things or trying to. You'll wait until it's being tanked by something to use it to support that. So, next we have Quibor. Um, This guy is fantastic. Two gold, unbound unit. Um, Bristleback is the talent we're running here. It deals damage back to melee attackers. It's also dealing damage back to Skeletal Mages from Baron currently. Uh, Quibor is good against those. He is good against tanking safe pilots that they deploy at your base. He's good at stopping Dark Iron Miners. He's great at tanking Baron because Baron does elemental damage. He has a lot, a lot, a lot of utility. Uh, then we have Deep Breath, which we will talk about a little bit, but not a lot, because I don't expect too many people to have it. Um, this is 4 gold spell. We're using the Double Dragon Talent, where it shoots a beam of fire in both directions. Here is one beam, pretty long as you can see. It fires a second one in the other direction. That's what Double uh, Dragon does. This is really good for controlling lanes, because lanes are so narrow right now. Uh, it allows you to kill a bunch of things, while also dealing a little bit of chip damage to the knees enemy space, which is kind of what this whole PvP meta is about right now. Then we have Blizzard. Uh, we're using the Cold Snap talent where it freezes enemy troops in base. Right now this is mainly to put them in range of your Dragon Towers and then freeze them there. It's great at killing Murkai, it's great at killing large groups of enemies, which happens frequently on this map because of all the choke points, so it's a super good all-around spell. So, let's talk about some variants, because I know that everyone doesn't have Deep Breath. So, this is not necessary. Meat Wagon can be subbed out. Um, I really like the Plague Farmer, and one of the videos that I have in this um, will showcase him. 
he's pretty solid. The plus one range kind of does the same thing that Meat Wagon does, just for a little less gold. Uh, it helps him control the middle from further away, so he's pretty solid. He's weak to mostly everything that everything else is weak to, so Quibors and Safe Pilots, but he's two gold, so he's really easy to just play and like weave in between those things that your opponent has. Just make sure you don't clump him up with other things or he's bound to get killed by Safe Pilot or Blizzard or any sort of AoE. Uh, Ghoul is also very solid in this deck. You don't need to run Dark Iron Miner. If you really want to find something that matches the Undead Valor slot that Dark Iron Miner is in, the Ghoul is super solid to that. He is extraordinarily tanky, and he will clog up a lane. So if he is attacking something and then it dies, he'll start eating its corpse, so he heals. We would run the Arbor Talent on him while he's eating, and that like it creates this wall, basically, to where all these minis start grouping up against him, and then you can blizzard them or safe pilot them, and it's very, very strong. So he's another good candidate. Another fun strategy for this deck um, that doesn't use Deep Breath and kind of uses a little bit of different minis, let me show you. I will swap these around, and then we will talk about the build. Something along these lines. So Execute is really good right now against Fortification, especially if you're trying to take the side towers, and there are some... Um, some builds that do try and do that. So, this is one of them. You can deploy Quillbore at the side tower to tank it, and then drop Skeletal, uh, or Skeletons, rather, with the Exhumed Talent to give them two extra Skeletons. Uh, this allows them to take the tower quickly, because, you know, you have five instead of three, and then Execute, giving them Bloodlust, dealing a ton of damage to the base, as well as Bloodlusting all of your Skeletons. It's super solid. You can take towers this way, and losing the fortified tower is really bad for your opponents in this scenario. Um, Blizzard, same thing. Control Meat Wagon. You could replace it with Pumpkin uh, Pumpkin Thrower. Is that his name? I don't think that's the same. It's Plague Farmer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's Plague Farmer. Um, so there's a lot you can do with this. Necromancer is also pretty good for Baron. It's four gold though, so you don't want to run too many high cost things in your deck, and that's getting up there, especially with Blizzard already. Um, Gargoyle is decent right now, but probably gets better with the Rocket Towers. And then nothing else in the Undead Tree is super great. Some other minis you could use. Griffin Rider is always a solid choice. Two gold for a flying ranged unit is awesome, especially with her plus range talent. Defias Bandits are great for one gold. They help you cycle. They stun things in front of your Dragon Towers. Super fantastic. Um, you know, Murlocs are good here. Harvest Golem is good here. There's just a lot you can play around with. I use Welp Eggs in some of my builds as well. Pretty solid. Um, great for controlling the middle, though less and less people it feels like are running Dark Iron Miner, and they're just trying to contest it, uh, though that may just be what I'm running into currently. But those are just some options that you have. So, let's go ahead and get into the PvP games. I've only got two for you. Once again, the holidays are really slowing me down. I don't have as much time to play currently as I normally do. Um... But I do have two games, and they are super solid games. They are both against level 10 players. So make sure you stick around for that, and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. Level 10. Let's see what we can get up to here. Oh, this will be a good blizzard for us, at least. Oh, there's going to be a massive blizzard. Quillbore will counter the mages. Once they get here, not too terribly worried about this yet. Thanks, Plague Farmer. Doing God's work. Our Baron versus his Baron. It's fine. We'll get a blizzard going here in just a moment. Maybe should have waited a little longer, but that's okay. Should take it out there. Okay, so we're ahead, so now we just have to defend. <coughs> this is going to be a really good blizzard here in a moment. More than likely. We'll go ahead and get this here. Oh yeah, fantastic blizzard. Don't want to commit too much here, especially if we're going to blizzard it. Um, 
But I think we're fine with all of this happening. Oh, this is a way better blizzard. And then we can safe pilot this, get all of those. Um, and we can whelp eggs to defend our base once they're all done with that. I'll keep the griffin there for a little while. Or not the griffin, the ghoul, rather. Yep, not worried about that in the slightest. Oh, I didn't see the wolf there. That's a mistake on my end. That's okay. We can send a baron up this direction. Pop the wolf out of stealth with our baron, and then Welp should take care of it. We lose a little gold there, but that's okay. Um, I would like these to meet up, and maybe they will for our blizzard. Oh yeah, this is about to be really good. Oh, let us get our Dark Iron Miner here. I think... Oh, we were not defending our base very well, unfortunately. We need to do better at that. The whole game is defending your base and making sure you don't lose the health advantage, and we just started pushing more for some reason. So, we need to correct that a little bit. But if you summon something here, yeah, this is great for us. So we get free damage with Blizzard while protecting our safe pile a little bit longer, as well as the mages. Um, I don't want to drop these yet, but they are going to be pretty good here in a minute. Let's go ahead and drop these. That should get the Prowler and the Necromancer. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yep, not too terribly worried about this at all. Be really good if Blizzard can get all of these, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to. That's okay. We'll wait for them to walk a little closer, and then we will safe pilot instead. Yep, pretty good for us. Go ahead and get this gold. Just about to hit into overtime, which is really solid for us. Um, we'll go ahead. This is going to turn this way. Going to see our cobalt and hit this. Get a little more damage on the base and kill the necromancer, which is really solid. Get a get a quill board to contest that. Man, this is we're just doing really well here right now. Once again, we're just defending. We've got the health advantage, so we need to take advantage of it. I don't need to do more damage to that. We'll get some gold here and blitz with this. Quill board to help. All right, this is a pretty good win for a level 10. Good game, Bumble. Another Calathumos, okay. Not playing Maya this time. Go ahead and get our gold. Blizzard here, I need to be a little quicker on that. Try and do a little better job in the future. We're not going to get his base here, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um, we'll get it on the next go-around. We will... We're going to contest this. Oh, well, it might not have been the correct call. I thought my miner was going to get through, and then I would be able to get this gold. But that's okay. We have another Blizzard ready for his next Murkai. Then we can set up the next Deep Breath. This is good for us. He's got three mages coming now. He might play his... Yeah, he's gonna play his work. I, I'm not gonna catch him. Oh, I'm so bad, actually. Okay, that's okay. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, Miner sneaking in to get some. That's good. Go ahead and contest this. Get our Miner up here. Save enough gold to Blizzard. Since he's contesting. I was greedy on that last blizzard. Clear rough. That's okay. Um, go ahead and grab this. I really don't want him to have any of this gold. We've been doing a really good job defending so far. Um, go ahead and blizzard here. Ooh, this is going to catch his griffin too. And I don't think it'll kill it. Oh, it does kill it. That's such good value for us. Go ahead and grab this. Maybe we can quill bore it. Oh no, he's he plays quill bore up here. We can drop this in between to defend. That's so good for us. Keep mining. Keep going. 
Fantastic. We're gonna get all this gold and it's gonna be so good for us. Fantastic. Good job. This is gonna hit here. I'm fine with that. Another mine. Kills it. That's great. We are just crazy far ahead this game. I'm waiting for a blizzard here to protect. But I don't necessarily know that we need to. We'll drop a meat wagon here. We don't want to empty our gold, but we do want to not cap on it. So... Drop a miner here and a safe pilot here. Take care of that. That was a bad quill bore, honestly. But we've got deep breath ready for the Merc Eye. This should catch it at the end. Yep, just like that. And good game. And there you have it. There's some showcase for Baron and PPP. Uh, if you liked the video and you learned something, please feel free to comment below and ask a question, give some feedback, let me know what you thought of it. I'll be sure to get back to every single one of you. I appreciate you guys leaving comments so much, and it just means the world to me. Uh, it also, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps a small channel like mine grow, and we're almost 4,000 subscribers. Uh, maybe we will be there by the time this video gets uploaded. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye.